Made in Abyss is a story that starts off pretty straightforward before it rapidly increases in complexity. Its lore, much like the Abyss itself, has many layers of history and nuance, which is why in this series we're going to explore the history of the Abyss, its relics, flora, fauna, fungi, sentient beings, mechanics, devices, as well as the legends and culture in which Rico and Reg find themselves in. In order to provide the most comprehensive explanations, I will be referencing lore found in the manga as of chapter 67. So welcome Funkers, to the ultimate Made in Abyss field guide. Before we explore the Abyss, we have to first understand the city that surrounds it. Orth, or the City of the Netherworld as written in Kanji, is a large town encompassing the entirety of an island of the same name. This town is ambiguous in size, with a diameter at least greater than one kilometer. It completely encircles the Abyss, a cylindrical shaft of at least 20 kilometers in depth, with an equally ambiguously wide diameter. I say ambiguously because a lot of the projected distances covered by Delvers, as well as descriptions of its natural features, suggest larger dimensions than what is described. The town proper is comprised of five districts, four of them named after the cardinal direction they are positioned in, with the exception being the central district, which is the nearest band of development around the abyss. This island is located west of an archipelago that consists of islands under the same government administration. This government, represented as the nation of Beluska, is responsible for Orth's legal system as well as the majority of its economic activity, with the archipelago to its east providing the majority of its food imports. There is another nation called West Beluska as well, which was stated to have a different language, though its exact position relative to Orth and Beluska is unknown. Prior to Orth's implied colonization by Beluska, the island was home to an insular pre-agricultural society of humans. These humans, having settled around the abyss, mirrored their culture around the limited information they had on the inhabitants of the Golden City, a society rumored to be found in the sixth layer of the abyss. 1,900 years later, Orth was shown to be a society whose economy revolves around the sale and trade of relics, which are archaeological, technological, or biological items that can be found inside the abyss. As a way to protect Orth's, and by extension Beluska's economic interests, the use of the abyss for economic activities has since been regulated with an accreditation system involving color-coded whistles. Before we talk about that, however, we have to first understand the Abyss and its layers in the following chapter. 